What's going on folks, Hicks here back in the backyard. Once again, we have a bike from Hay Bike. This is the Hay Bike Braun they sent me to check out. This is a paid advertisement. Uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and a short review on the Hay Bike. We're gonna assemble it. Give it a quick ride and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. If you wanna find this bike, it is the first link in the description. Thank you to Hay Bike for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. So, I actually don't know what this bike looks like at all. Pretty sure it is a fat tire. Yes, it is. That is definitely a fat tire right there. Let's start doing the typical. Take it out of the box. and see, we have a box here. This sounds like tools and most likely the charger. Let's take a look at that in a second. Let's take it out of the box, see how much it weighs. Okay, it's a big bike. By the way, folks, you see me struggling with this thing. Always recommend if you buy an electric bike from any of my links, just go to a bike shop. Take it straight to a bike shop, have them assemble it. Don't try to do it yourself. These things go fast and they're heavy. Still gonna get this thing out. This could be the most I've struggled with the bike so far. That was tough. Fat tire, e-bike for adventurers. We got a lot of packaging to go through here. So I'm gonna start getting rid of this packaging. Then we're going to quickly assemble it. Looks like we have to do pedals, wheel, front end, and that's it. Very typical installation. We have another mystery box. I don't know what that box right there is for. We're gonna find out in a second. But uh, yeah, as per usual, we're going to have to remove a bunch of packaging. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And with all the packaging removed, we can get a better look at the bike. We have a gigantic hay bike logo here. Brown right there. This bike currently retails for $17.99, I believe. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna run you through some of the specs. So we got a 750 watt pub motor in the rear. 48 volt, 18 amp hour battery. Can carry a max load of 400 pounds. It is a class three e-bike. So that means it can reach up to 28 miles per hour. They also claim a 65 mile range on this one. And as you can see, it has big fat 26 by four fat tires. Go over any type of terrain. Shimano gearing. And we got big disc brakes, of course. I would expect nothing less. So we got a little bit of assembly to finish. We have to put on the stem stem doesn't come on which is something i haven't seen yet gotta put the stem on then the bars the display is already installed there gotta put the front wheel on and the pedals and we should be good to go all right we made some progress bike is pretty much completely finished we gotta put the pedals in this was actually a very easy installation compared to what i was thinking it took maybe like 15 minutes throw the wheel on stem and bars was much easier than i thought now we're gonna see what's in this box got a manual with some, these are the tools that I would have needed. I didn't have my own. Here's our pedals. And I take it this is the charger. That is indeed the charger. I think we're gonna need that. This bike is going back to the brand, so I won't even have time to charge it. Hey, one other box, I don't know what is in here. Inside is a headlight. I got a big, beefy headlight too. Thing looks powerful. We're not gonna need this because uh, we're not riding a night, but that's what you get in these two boxes, just so you know. Pedals on, we have a complete bike, very classy looking bike. I, you know, black is my favorite color on bikes. All right, so we ended up plugging in the headlight just for a quick demo. So this is an adaptive headlight. So it will change based on the surroundings of where you're riding. If it's darker, it'll get brighter. If you're riding in the daylight, like now, it dims. As you can see now, it's barely on, but this is a big headlight. I can tell it's very powerful. Nice touch. We also have a hydraulic seat post. This is another feature I love to see. There's a big improvement over a quick release, which you see many of these have. You have a lever right here. So say you have your seat all the way down, pull your lever, seat pops up. Very nice touch. Uh, this colorway is cool. Hopefully the bike rides good. We're going to give it a test ride right now. Here we go. Alrighty. Out here on the Hay Bike Braun, picking up speed, full throttle right now. Max pedal assist going 23 miles per hour, 24 and 25. That is a speed limit in residential zones. So this thing definitely can do that. If that is something you are looking for, this is one of the fastest. This is actually one of the fastest e-bikes I've tested in quite some time. It's not necessarily marketed as such, but it's, it's quick. The throttle is very responsive. It can definitely be operated throttle only. As you guys can see, I am moving right now. <laughs> it's, it's quick. It is a little bit after sundown or pretty much right at sundown. Could have been a good time to test the headlight. You wouldn't have noticed it that much right now anyway. We're at about 55% battery. Dude, this thing just hums. Oh my goodness. Why is this bike so fast? First thing I noticed, it sounds very, very smooth. 
There are almost no noises coming from the bike. No jingles, no uh, brake rubbing sounds. Everything is very solidly put together, which is nice. I wanted to hit our bump, but there's literally a ton of kids there. So we're gonna have to go past there for now. Over here in North Hollywood, we are going to go test it on the hill climb. All right, initial impressions, my first gut reaction. This thing is just fast. It is a big bike too, don't get me wrong. This thing is, I don't know if I can put the seat any lower, but it is designed for big people. I would say minimum five foot seven, male or female. You could maybe pull it off if you're five six, but you're gonna be, you are gonna be hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I'd say the sweet spot is like five nine, five ten. You could be comfortable on this. I'm five eleven, and I feel just fine. Okay, throttle only, steep hill climb, about twenty percent grade. Let's see how it does. It goes fast on flat, which is expected. 750 watt motor. It's got a little bit stronger battery than some other bikes. We are at coming down to five miles an hour, going down to four, three and a half miles an hour. We made it. We did make it up, so that is good. It didn't fail. And straight into a hill bump. This is kind of like, uh, <laughs> it almost feels like I'm gonna hit my head on that with how high I'm sitting on this bike. Let me see if the throttle is controlled by the pedal assist you're in. I take it it is because I'm in zero and I'm not getting anything. I think it's, it's not controlled by it, but it may be limited. So I think when you're in one, you're gonna hit a top speed because the acceleration just felt really punchy right there. Uh, big tires, big seat in position. This thing is made, you know, if you live somewhere where there's maybe a little bit of dirt, I don't know about full on off-roading. Now it may not be best for that, but definitely if you are in some type of rugged terrain or even just for the city, oh, I get out of here. Or if you're like me and you live in LA and pretty much everything is basically off-road. The easiest way to go from this bike from a dead stop is with a throttle. The pedal assist is, uh, it takes a second of pedaling for you to get going. We're gonna cross for our typical on-road segment, see how the suspension handles with this high seating position and some, uh, little bit of grass. Back here in North Hollywood, I had no reason to come out here to do this video, but Griffith Park was, I definitely wasn't gonna make it before sunset. The thing about Griffith Park is it gets dark there soon because the whole place is mountains. So North Hollywood was the best compromise I could get. We're actually gonna go with traffic because this light is just not changing at all. All right, popping into the grass. Pedal assist five, Ooh, hanging on. Getting a little rugged. Oh my God, dirt, all in my eyes. 17 miles per hour through the dirt. Lots of it went in my face. Hey. Cruising through the back streets of North Hollywood. <laughs> kind of going through the ghetto. All right, we're gonna rip. It handled great on the dirt and on the grass. Going through a little more dirt here. There goes a squirrel. Dodge the rocks. And we're gonna jump out right here. Let's see, is the chain still on? Yeah, it is. All right, we didn't get a derail. That's a good sign. That was a little bit of breakneck speed right there. We hit like an average pace of 20 miles an hour on the throttle going through there. Okay, so, oh my God. We have confirmed this bike is fast. It is insanely fast. This is straight out of the box speed too. So keep that in mind. If you buy this, uh, it's fast. So ugh. maybe not for a first time bike rider. Maybe you want a little bit of experience before you hop on this thing. But if you're someone who knows how to handle a bike and you got places you need to be, and you need to be there ASAP, then uh, this might be uh, something you want to think about. I believe this bike is $17.99. I'll go ahead and put something over here if I'm incorrect about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the price. You can find it first link in the description, as I mentioned already. Wow, this thing is, is actually kind of a thrill. It's so fast. <laughs> it is really nice how it just mobs over everything too. Curbs, no match for it, dirt, sand, grass. I'm sure it'll kick ass in the sand too. I just don't live anywhere near any type of beach, so I never get to test my bikes in the sand. See if we can hit a little jump off this curb. See what type of speeds we could hit using only the pedal assist. All right, we're in top, top gear. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Dude, this is just pedaling, no throttle. That is insane. Okay, that's, that is, incredibly fast i would not suggest going that fast in the street <laughs> you need a closed course to be able to pedal this fast this is this is so fast 
Oh my God, I hit the little jump right here. <laughs> this bike is crazy, bro. <laughs> People, I hope you're starting to get the picture of why I like e-bikes so much. They are fun. They are a lot of fun. They're not just a way to be lazy on two wheels. They are a way to completely ride a bike in a whole different way. I'll see you once again. Thank you to Hay Bike for sponsoring this video. This is the Hay Bike Brawn. One more time, if you're interested, it is the first link in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching yet another video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe and have a great day. Peace out.